This is a CATIA model of the cyclocrane. The cyclocrane was an airship that spun on its axis like a helicopter to lift its cargo and then changed the pitch of its wings to transport its cargo to its destination. This model is a version of the cyclocrane that was never made. Around the outside, like a bunch of bananas, is an air-filled ballonet. The interior of the cyclocrane is filled with helium. On the ground, this ballonet is almost full with air. But as the cyclocrane operates and rises to its service ceiling, the helium expands out from the core and collapses the ballonet against the outer envelope. The outer radius of the shell is 90 feet. I made a circular pattern with a diameter of 180 feet to the outer diameter. I added some wings and uh, engine uh, objects, but they're not designed, they're just for look. And rendered the assembled object using Katia's most rudimentary rendering option. This is very obviously a CAD object, so I would like to put this into a background photo plate and render it in order to improve photorealism of the CATIA model. First step is to note the direction that the light is in the background plate. You can see it coming in from above camera, so we'll change the lighting angle and re-render. This is better, but the light angle still isn't quite correct. Plus, this CAD model really needs to be illuminated by an environmental light source. Uh, the environment lights objects with light coming in from all around, including the primary intense light source, which is many for, for outdoor objects, is the sun. This is CATIA's spherical environment, and we'll put the CAD model inside of it. We'll wrap an image map of clouds onto the sphere. The environment shining on the CAD model really improves the photorealism of it. Now I do a check and see if we're going in the right direction and it looks to me like we are. One thing we need to do is put a texture map of a propeller blade on that um, disk that re represents the propellers on, on the engine. I use a 2D image manipulation program to put propellers on a transparent background and then add a circular blur to them. And now the CATIA model with the um, propeller texture mapped onto the object. The background still needs work. We'll take a sky that I like from one image and the ground from another and put them together. And now the CATIA model rendered inside the environment sphere. See the um, illumination coming from the ground beneath and a different color illumination coming in from the sky above. Well, bearing in mind the color of the background plate, we put in a solid blue color, which gives us the ability to generate a mat and cut away the clouds, a background. The gray and white squares in this image program indicate transparency. The way we insert the CAD object into the image is to make portions of the image transparent. The uniform blue of the sky helps with this, and using the image program, we turn that to that color too transparent. So we now have a layer with the sky, or a lot of the sky, knocked out, and we can put our cat object, the, the cyclocrane, in behind that. But we still have the original image, and we throw that in behind them both, cut out a haze object of the same shape, and put it right on top of the CAD model and blending it into the image. So this is a photo reel style rendering using CATIA Photo Studio and GIMP, a 2D imaging program. And this is obviously just an overview and not a step-by-step -step tutorial of the process.